Voyeurs, I've had a number of messages and comments over the past few months that I've been doing this vlog asking me to make an episode where I take you on a tour around my study and show various interesting objects that I have. After realising that I have a large amount of stuff, I've decided to make a number of episodes. Yeah, but not in order. Covering 80 different objects in my study. Therefore, being the jovial slapdash man that I am, I've decided to call it Around My World in 80 Objects. Oh, shut up. So here goes. Item number one is a limited edition print by Trevor Brown. It's entitled Little Strange Dots. Trevor Brown is a British-born artist who studies the world of paraphilias. He now resides in Japan. And strangely enough, Jenny's stepfather went to art school with him, so that was a very strange coincidence. As you can see, the subject matter is a girl that's taken liquid LSD on blotter paper. And you can see it on her tongue, and you can see that she's starting to experience the hallucinogenic qualities of the LSD. You can notice the doll's heads that replicate some of her own features swirling away from her head in a multicoloured fractal style. In the background you can see what the girl looks like when she's not on an LSD trip. You can also notice that her main body is becoming see-through. This entire print is printed on a sheet of blotter paper. They're small perforated squares which were used to take liquid LSD during the 60s. There is a complete niche art world where you can buy various prints printed on this blotter material. You can also see that this piece is signed by Trevor Brown himself. Item number two is a poster, flyers and tickets along with some mementos from my 2007 live stage show called Open to Influence. The two-day event showcased my abilities to control the human mind through advanced uses of psychology, although the second day was closed down due to legal reasons over the concern of the content. Item number three is a collection of Rorschach test cards. These are from my days as a psychotherapist. The now famous Rorschach test cards are ambiguous images where a person is asked to interpret what he or she perceives in them. These perceptions are then analysed by a psychologist to better understand that person's mind. For example, in this picture some people see a man riding a motorcycle wearing big boots, whilst others will see a man with a giant willy. Item number four is a crystal skull made of amethyst. I got this many years ago in a crystal shop in Glastonbury, and the crystal skulls of pre-Columbian Mesoamerica had always fascinated me. I bought this skull to act as a permanent aid memoir to those times when, as a child, I would let my imagination run wild contemplating the customs and religions of pre-Columbian America. Item number five is not so much this book, but what this book represents, and that's a choose-your-own-adventure book. And it's something else that reminds me of my childhood. These books enable the reader to make their own story based on the decisions that he or she wishes to make. So at the end of each page, it will give you an option to turn to page 56 or turn to page 42 to do one thing or the other. When I was younger, I went to America with my family and picked up uh, a choose-your-own-adventure book like this based on alien invasions, where you were able to select which aliens were invading and how you helped to send them running back to their planet, or in some cases, how your wrong decision ended up with the demise of the planet Earth. Sadly, along the way, the book got lost and I've never been able to find it. These types of books are just wonderful. Uh, I got a, a pack of six for next to nothing on Amazon. They're really cheap, they're really easy to read. In ten minutes you can get through a whole story and each time it's different. They're probably great for toilet reads for that reason. Uh, grab some, really imbibe the childhood sense of it and really enjoy the stories which are as complex as you choose to make them. And they really give children a sense of of cause and effect that the decisions that you make have consequences uh, albeit good or bad. So that's the first five objects in my world. The other objects are following different episodes. Remember voyeurs, keep it real. Alright. Well Paul Brook knows just what you're thinking and he knows just what you're feeling. He can pick up on the slightest cues. He knows what's lies and what's the truth. Paul Brook understands when you're feeling low. Paul Brook understands when you're feeling high. Just let
Ferunge in Sario Bar.